Have you recently invested in cryptocurrency? Well, congratulations, but here are two uncomfortable truths. Your crypto assets are a target for hackers, and if they get stolen, getting your funds back can be an uphill task. Now, while individuals holding large amounts of cryptocurrencies usually are targets for hackers, centralized cryptocurrency exchanges are the greatest attraction to cyber criminals. Now, the most common question after news that the exchange where you kept your funds has been hacked is, will I ever get my cryptocurrency back? Well, join us as we search for answers to these questions and ways to protect your crypto assets. All right, let's jump in and start learning. There have been multiple hacks of major cryptocurrency exchanges and other crypto related platforms. So how do these happen? Well, first let's talk about if cryptocurrency itself can actually be hacked. Well, as a relatively new digital form of storing wealth, it's normal for users to worry about vulnerabilities in the technology of cryptocurrency. Blockchains like Bitcoin have proven secure against attacks and failures. But as with all kinds of software, it may not be wholly perfect or infallible. So it is necessary to differentiate between the security concerns of the cryptocurrency networks and those that face cryptocurrency users. Now, cryptocurrency users, including both individuals and exchanges, have to carefully protect their sensitive information, including passwords and private keys against attackers. Now, blockchain's network security is an entirely different matter, which includes the hash rate, the robustness of the network, and the underlying cryptography and more, which makes it almost impossible to hack cryptocurrencies themselves. Okay, so then how do exchanges get hacked? Well, phishing and malware are the most common way of hacking centralized crypto exchanges. According to research by Kaspersky, hackers begin by obtaining a list of employees, taking the time to study their interests, especially on social media, and they then target the most susceptible ones with phishing emails and infiltrate the exchange network. Once they get inside virtually, they quickly and quietly learn the internal architecture of the platform until they eventually get hold of the employer's machine with critical information. They then send users cryptocurrency stored in the exchange's wallets to themselves. Now, it's believed that that was the scenario on May 7th, 2017, when the Binance exchange lost over $40 million, equivalent to 7,000 Bitcoin. So let's talk about some more moments when crypto exchanges got hacked. Well, first we've got Mt. Gox in 2014, where $480 million got hacked. And this is the best known and most widely publicized hacking incident involving the Japanese crypto exchange. A total of 850,000 Bitcoin was presumed stolen. The amount is close to around 7% of all Bitcoin in circulation at the time. And the value of the highest then was 480 million, but today, it will be closer to 32 billion. Most people realize that exchange hacks are not just the preserve of small, nondescript cryptocurrency exchanges. When Binance, the world's leading exchange in trade volume, got hit in May 2019. Hackers infiltrated the company's security system and withdrew over 7,000 Bitcoin worth at least 40 million from the company's hot wallet. It is reported that after the hackers broke through the security systems, they obtained critical information sets like two-factor codes, APIs, and other data. So this kind of sounds a bit scary, and if you're planning to invest in cryptocurrency and are afraid of what would happen if your crypto gets stolen from a centralized exchange, you wanna make sure that you're using an exchange that goes the extra mile to protect your investment. However, since crypto is a relatively young industry, you may not, as a newcomer, easily identify the exchange you can trade with while guaranteeing the safety of your investment. So how can consumers tell if a cryptocurrency exchange is safe? Well, I'll give you eight points to make sure that the cryptocurrency exchange is safe. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is start by asking yourself whether the name of the exchange that you're looking at is recognizable in the industry and where they are located. If an exchange is located in a country with lots of regulations, the chances are high that they are obligated to up their game in cybersecurity to avoid penalties. 
Mostly platforms will have a big name because of their excellent reputation. Also check whether the exchange has ever suffered a hack and if they did, how did they resolve that situation? While there may not be a legal requirement for cryptocurrency exchanges to offer FDIC insurance like there is for your money in a traditional bank account, a few crypto exchanges have gone out of their way to provide insurance for users' crypto assets, and they can compensate you if the exchange suffered a hacking incident. To run their businesses, centralized exchanges keep some of their funds in hot storage meaning a digital wallet that's online and accessible. However, in security matters, look for an exchange that keeps the bigger percentage of the assets they have in cold storage, meaning that the digital wallet is offline, air-gapped, and hard for anyone to access physically. Next, most reputable centralized exchanges run bug bounties, which encourage freelance security experts, also known as ethical or white hackers, to try and locate vulnerabilities or weaknesses in their systems. The exchanges offer monetary rewards whenever the people report any security weakness that anyone else could have exploited and stolen your crypto. Now, don't just get satisfied with the availability of coins. You wanna be sure that trades are happening there. You must verify there is sufficient trading volume, especially in your target coins, to ensure liquidity. Low volume markets could cost you on sale, and when there isn't enough volume and you put an order in, that's called slippage. You could buy at a higher price or sell at a lower price than you'd want. If you're an advanced trader looking for a safe crypto exchange, check out your preferred exchange to ensure it offers the trading types like limit orders, which can prevent slippage by setting a hard price and margin you want. Next, conduct your research to check whether the exchange is involved in wash trading. This refers to an unorthodox process where a single coin can be bought and sold to provide false and misleading information to the market. One entity serves as both the buyer and the seller of a specific coin, pumping the volume and motivating other traders to follow the price movement. However, there's the possibility of a trader colluding with a broker and executing the buys and sells. This form of market manipulation is illegal in numerous countries, including the US, so be careful about an exchange involved in wash trading. Another thing you wanna look at is the team docs. It's an open secret that successful cryptocurrency traders can make significant sums of money, making them a target of hackers. So to keep their identity a secret and reduce their chances of being persons of interest for the crooks, they usually hide their identities on social media sites and many internet places. Whereas there have been physical attacks on cryptocurrency owners, violent attempts to force the owners to give up their digital wallet keys are seen more frequently. It is easy to assume the larger the account gets, the more unwanted attention it attracts. However, crypto exchange teams need to be fully doxxed on the website with pictures and expertise as a way to show that they have nothing to hide. Then, next, try to subject a centralized cryptocurrency exchange to an online trust score like CoinGecko before you trust them with your investments. Choose a coin, head over to its price chart and scroll down to its markets. You'll be shown a list of exchanges offering the coin, the available trading pairs, and the trust score of every exchange. CoinGecko trust score covers most, if not all, suggestions above, including liquidity, team, past incidents, and more. So then, let's move on. What should you do if your crypto exchange gets hacked? Well, getting back stolen cryptocurrencies can be a daunting task. Nothing is as scary as reading the news that the centralized exchange where you've kept your crypto assets has been hacked. Nonetheless, there are still a few things that you can do. First, stay connected on the ongoing updates because in most cases, you could quickly get access to your funds back in just a matter of days. But before then, take note that just because an exchange has suffered an attack, it doesn't necessarily mean that you've lost all your funds. Most reputable exchanges will take the initiative to communicate the incident to users, informing them of the status of their money. Your most significant responsibility though should come way before any hacking occurs. Choose a safe cryptocurrency exchange. 
Exchanges are different regarding the safety and security measures they put in place regarding users' funds. As an investor, your due diligence is required to ensure that you're not taking unnecessary risk by operating on unsafe exchanges. Also, some crypto exchanges compensate affected users if there is an incident. Um, in some jurisdictions, there is some chance that law enforcement agencies could somehow help recover the stolen funds, but then there, there is no guarantee. Finally, if you're gonna keep a large number of crypto assets, choose a hardware wallet, also known as a cold wallet, instead of storing it in a centralized exchange. Now, even though this may be the most secure method of storing cryptocurrency, you become fully responsible for keeping your private keys. If in this case you lose or misplace your keys, you can't hold any financial entity responsible for your loss. Now, if you wanna get more insights into protecting your cryptocurrency and all other things crypto, let us know in the comments below. Also remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on our socials for future alpha. See ya.